Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about the absolute nonsense surrounding Jim Sterling and the fact that he had his channel attacked and falsely struck with copyright claims by what can really only be described as a complete moron. But before we get into that, as usual, I would like to quickly remind you that I am trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to get more eyes on my content. So if you want to help me out, the easiest stuff you can do is just leave a like, perhaps comment on something that you've seen. And if you think that I've earned it by the end of the video, please do consider consider subscribing. There's also a link to my Instagram there where I post a few times a week about retro games and modern games and in the future I'd really like to get into streaming so any support that you could show the channel and myself would be really really appreciated. But with that out of the way, let's talk about Jim Sterling and his channel being targeted by a terrible developer who basically didn't like Jim's opinions. However, I'm of the firm belief that the things that Jim stated in their video were not really opinions. They were virtually facts. You know, because all of the games that have been released by this developer are awful. They're just terrible. And I don't think that's a particularly outlandish thing to say. So what happened? Well, last week at the time of recording this video, Jim Sterling's YouTube channel had... I believe two copyright strikes on two separate videos, both of which were initiated by one man, and that was Gilson B. Pontes. I believe that's how you say his name. And you know, this guy is basically infamous in the gaming, I say gaming industry, he's not really part of the industry. He is virtually one of those sort of asset flip con merchant kind of people. And Jim has basically covered his games for the last five years. And, and that's the weird thing. Gilson B. Pontes seems to be able to get his games released on the PlayStation Store, literally on PSN. And he seems to release one game every year in sort of the first quarter of the year, I believe. And of course, these games are utter garbage, but somehow they get on this store. And you know, Sony's never commented on this. People have asked them and they will not comment. It's like maybe someone in there owed him something. I have no clue. But what I do know is that you cannot just take someone's video down because you don't like their criticism. It's not something you can do. Now, let's say 10 years pass from this point and I'm some sort of much bigger YouTuber than I am now and someone comes back and doesn't like one of my takes and they make a video on me. Well, so what? You do that. You make you make videos on me. You do what you want. I don't care. It doesn't affect me. You're well within your right to disagree with anything I have to say. Just in the way that Gilson B. Pontes is completely free to disagree with Jim Sterling's opinions and critiques. 100% he is. However, what he cannot do is falsely copyright strike a video. He can't do that. Well, I mean, you know, he, he can because he did, right? But what I'm saying is that's not what that system is there for. That system is for actual copyright problems and people, to no surprise, have been circumventing this and using it as some sort of weapon to attack people they don't like, whose opinions they don't like, is more to the point. But as I just said, you know, Jim has covered Gilson's games for pretty much four or five years, I believe, at this point, and had no issues in the past. But when this recent game was released, which I don't even really want to tell you the name of it, I think it I think it was something like Thai Shogun or something, really doesn't matter, please don't play it, he decided that he was going to strike Jim's channel. And I just don't understand what makes him think... Actually, you know what? He probably doesn't think he can win. He probably doesn't think he can get rid of Jim's channel, but he's doing it as some sort of message, I suppose. But at the end of the day, Jim is 100% in the right. Jim can make videos on anything that they want to. They do not have to get the permission of the developer or publisher of the game to produce a video on it. Jim's video is as fair use as fair use comes. That's it. It's fair use. He's criticizing a video game. End of discussion. I mean, it's obvious that Gilson has no integrity as a human, <laughs> essentially, because he must know that this is a completely, you know, wrong thing to do. It, it just doesn't make any sense to do it to somebody. But then again, if you just take a look at the actual games he makes, and again, don't don't go and buy them and play them, just watch them on YouTube or something. But if you go and actually look at the video games that this guy creates, there's no real sense of artistic direction. There's no real gameplay in them, except for broken can, you know, well, I mean, I guess you could pass it as gameplay because you can actually move the character around, but you get what I'm saying. There, there's nothing to it. And, uh, you know, again, I understand there's plenty of indie companies out there who don't have a lot of money and 
they have to build what they can build on their budget and some people are new to the gaming industry and they want to create things that are you know different but they don't quite have the experience to make it something that's like you know triple a or whatever they they don't really have it but still look at somebody like the guy who made stardew valley for example he was for a long time just one guy working on that and it's one of the most beloved farming sims of all time some people say it's better than harvest moons some people think it's better than well it's better than the new harvest moons because they're not actually harvest moons anymore uh harvest moon is story of seasons now but my point is he was one guy and he did that you know some of the companies that make things like the original minecraft when it first came around it was either you know one person or a tiny studio of like three to five people so when you consider those games to what this gilson b pontes puts out you can basically tell that he's got no integrity as a game developer and he has zero integrity as a human being as well and of course you know i'm a very low-end youtuber at the moment but if gilson ever does hear this just go back to the drawing board and try to actually make something that people would want. Make, make a proof of concept, make something small, like really small. I'm talking smaller than the quote unquote games that you release now and then show it to investors. Maybe do a GoFundMe. Try and actually, if you're serious about trying to make video games, actually fucking do it. Just go and try to make something and have some sort of pride in what you do because the stuff that you release now is garbage. Everyone knows it and Jim is right to point it out. So, you know, I think that's something to think about. And I should say for those that don't really know, as a YouTube creator, if you get three copyright strikes on your channel, I believe it's pretty much instantly terminated and deleted. So Jim was one strike away from losing their channel. Although having said that, I don't think they would have because... What with them having a large channel, I think YouTube would have stepped in and actually taken a look at it, or at least I would hope so. And also, if YouTube didn't get involved, I imagine a lot of other creators and, you know, followers of Jim would probably have kicked up quite a fuss about it and made them take notice. So there is that. And just here at the end of the video, I think I would like to say that while I don't agree with everything Jim has ever said, when it comes to politics, because I frankly don't give a crap about any politics whatsoever. I do not follow it and I do not care about it. I respect his right to be and do whatever he likes. That involves critiquing games and that involves dressing and being however he wants to be. You know, whether he's Jim Sterling, whether he's James Stephanie Sterling, whatever, as long as he's comfortable in his own skin, then I'm happy for them. You also may have noticed that Jim prefers to go by they and them now, and I have tried to do that in this video, but I know just at the end there, I said a few he's and stuff. It's just one of these things that I have to get used to. I mean, no disrespect whatsoever. If I say he, I mean to say they, them, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's one of those things when you're referring to someone who is generally considered to be a man, you automatically, like, your brain just goes he. It's just how, you, how you've been raised, how you've grown up, how you've learned language essentially so just so that anyone knows if you do hear any he's or him's in there it's simply just because my brain went that way and it means absolutely no disrespect for Jim at all. I mean, I literally feel like they are uh, essentially like a national treasure at this point, even though they came from where I live in the UK and now they live in America. They're just kind of like a dual national treasure. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's quite funny. But you know, if you haven't seen their channel, I will link it in the description below. It's a great channel and they don't need me to give them any shout outs or anything. I am not going to make them any more popular than they already are. But, you know, if you're somebody who's just stumbled upon my channel and you're wondering who this is all about, just head over there, take a look at the channel, send them some love, let them know that there's people out there that support them. And yeah, I think that's a nice enough note to end on. So if you've enjoyed the video and feel like you want to help me out, the stuff that you can do for me is, again, the easiest stuff in the world. Just leave a like or a dislike if you don't like the video. Maybe comment. And if you think I've earned it at this point, I'd really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. As I said earlier, links will be in the description. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.